<laughs> Let's talk about these protocols first. So, before we get into the individual protocols, what is the specific problem that you're trying to solve? And what about the current situation doesn't work as you would like it to? So that's like, it's a twofold issue. Um, but yeah, so um, in science, we have a lot of applications which are designed to be put on different windows and, and sorry, on different monitors, and uh, which are basically a bunch of separate windows which you just arrange on screen. And um, these applications usually have a pretty uh, good idea where to place those windows initially, and they currently can't do that on Wayland. So if you have an application which has um, maybe like 10 windows, they get currently get all stacked on top of each other, or the compositor does some weird tiling and doesn't really know where to place things, mm -hmm. while the application does. And the application could actually tell the compositor, hey, this is how it should look like, and the compositor could then do the right thing. But currently, there's just no way to communicate that. And um, the second thing is, if you have arranged your stuff, it doesn't get saved. You, know, you just relaunch your session, and stuff just reappears at random positions. And that's actually worse. There's a separate protocol for this, but it has been basically stuck in uh, development hell for or discussion hell, actually, for about five years now. Uh, it, I think it's I was three say years. Three? I thought it was. Is it five now? It's three years on the uh, on the pull request, but oh. it has been on the mailing list before. And oh. I don't know why it's not merged because it's such an important feature. For anyone curious, um, that is the XDG session management protocol. Yes. And um, so initially I thought, yeah, okay, I get the Wayland concept of like, let's do it properly completely from the start and everything has to be ported. I don't like it necessarily, but it's it's a it's definitely a valid route to go. And um, so I was like, okay, then we just port the apps and like ideally maybe rewrite the GUI and make them like work with this new concept. Mm. Um, and then I started to actually develop my own scientific application and found that I, I wanted to make an, an application where there's like one main window and the smaller windows were placed inside and you could dock them out. Um, but what I realized was that the current concept of like these split window applications actually works best for these particular applications, which are like um, like spaceship dashboards where you have the like, buttons upon buttons and like everything visible at the same time. They are not user friendly, but they are also not for like, normal users who are just intuitively should be able to grasp what these apps do, but they, some of them require training and knowledge of what you're doing, what lasers to adjust and stuff like that. And for those, especially if you have multiple monitors, it's actually the best UI concept, um, at least that I found and established. Mm -hmm. So at that point I was like, okay, we actually might need this for new applications. And then I went into, okay, what exists in this space and what applications do we actually use and how do we port this stuff uh, to Wayland? Uh, especially because these vendors, they are stretched thin anyway. And if there is Linux support, it is usually the exception. Even most of that stuff is, uh, is Windows. Mm -hmm. And if I come to one of those vendors and say, okay, please port to Wayland, that's the future. It should run on Wayland. Mm -hmm. and but you need to rewrite your whole entire UI to actually work on Wayland. They would be like, no, mm -hmm. <laughs> this is like way too much work for like a tiny fraction of our user base. And it's just like way too expensive for us mm -hmm. since there's not a ton of money in academic research. So unless there's like a huge company which invests all the money into it and it's like, yes, we need this on Wayland, then they might do it. Mm -hmm. But if like academic labs do it, they are happy if it works somehow. So. And of course, you could say, uh, well, this stuff could run on X-Wayland forever, but I don't think that should be the goal. We should be able to like move everything to Wayland to mm -hmm. also reap the benefits of it. Because believe it or not, like we want HDR support for especially like microscope images and mm -hmm. stuff like that. And uh, like Wayland actually has a lot of benefits that we could actually use in science. Mm -hmm. So. That's the science part, but of course, there's also things like the old GIMP UI, uh, the MPV example that you've mentioned, where um, MPV might want to place its window in a certain position, and all of these like st things that used to work, which stop working on Wayland, and where you basically tell people, well, screw you. <laughs> it's, it's like if you want to do this, you can't anymore, and there's no real like 
reason like that security base why this shouldn't work. It's just like there's no protocol and you can't you can't use the CI anymore. And that's a bit frustrating if you're an application developer and then I want to motivate you to port and tell you, yeah, but please rewrite everything. <laughs> so yeah, that's the basically my motivation. The argument sec security-wise that is often made is regarding windows could place themselves on top of other windows and sort of mimic that you know what that is and then try to you know mimic a password prompt for example um do you feel like that's a reasonable concern or do you think that's sort of wayland devs running away with a theoretical example that you know wouldn't realistically be implementable I think it's the latter. Um, I did initially. I was like, "Oh, yeah, that makes sense." And then I thought about it a bit more. And the reason why I don't think that should work like this on on Wayland is no application can grab the screen, so no application can like without permission at least. Mm -hmm. So the application has first of all no idea where that password prompt even would be to place its window on top of it. So since it doesn't know it can maybe guess to place it there. But then this window, even if it's borderless, will have a shadow. And for the user, it would will look absolutely weird. Mm -hmm. And then I don't think it's a realistic example. Um, it has been brought up before, but I don't think it's uh, I don't think it's a strong case for it. And the interesting thing is I thought that would have been one of the primary reasons for people to reject the protocol proposal mm -hmm. because I've had uh, some fights with people about this before who raised this point. And um, so I put a lot of work into the proposal to refute this like from the get go. And it's like, no, this is not a point you can make. And nobody made that point. I, like in the in the discussion, nobody actually ever raised this that the, there was a security concern, mm -hmm. which was kind of nice because <laughs> I don't think there is. So I didn't have to argue. <laughs> I th I think part of it is the that you preempted it. Maybe it's that they just don't feel like that's a discussion worth having, and the other problems they had with it were more important. Um, but it is definitely something I, I have heard discussed before.